All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel and to some more buckshot testing. And today, we've got another really interesting combination that I'm curious to see what we can get out of it because the shells have done surprisingly well through several tests that we've done with them so far, but how are they gonna do through today's setup? That I don't really know. We've only tested it once before with some kind of middle of the road results, so it could kind of go either way, I suppose. But as for the ammo we have out here today, I brought out some more of the Remington Express Buckshot Magnum shells. They are a 12 gauge 3 inch 10 pellet load of triple lot buck moving about 12 25 feet per second and for a Remington shell these have done very surprisingly well for us so I'm hoping to see some good results through the shotgun we've got today and as for that shotgun we've got out here today I brought out this old Mossberg 500A with a 30 inch fixed full choke barrel and I did measure this full choke barrel here and it comes out to be right at about 695 constriction so pretty much what you would typically expect for a full choke but with this thing having a 30 inch barrel on it we should absolutely see every bit of their velocity claim as well from that box there so definitely going to be really interesting to see what this old 500 with a fixed full choke barrel can actually do with these shells but as for the test today everything is going to be the same as usual i've got the big sheet of paper set up down there at 40 yards i've also got the chronograph so we can get our velocity out of the shells and i have some templates out here as well so we can lay those up over our results and and kind of get a better reference point as to how they actually pattern in some more real life type of scenarios so let's get you guys set up with view this target we'll take the shot look at the chrono and then go look at our results i have some high hopes for these shells and this 500 today but i think it's going to come down to more so the shotgun than what the shells can do since it is an older very simple fixed full choke type setup can it actually perform well with these shells or not i don't know but let's go over here and take this shot and just see what kind of a result it's actually able to give us Okay, so that shell gave us 1171 through our chrono. The boss claims 1225, so we are a little bit under their claim, surprisingly enough, even though we have a 30 inch barrel. I would have expected to see their claim or a little bit above, but either way, that's not too far off. And 1171 with triple out buck is still plenty good enough. But how did they actually pattern down there at 40 yards? Let's go take a look and see what we got. All right, now we're down here at our 40 yard paper and this is what we got. And for a reference, the white dot was my point of aim. The paper's 36 inches wide by probably about 40 tall. And as for our pattern here, I don't know, it's kind of in the middle somewhere. We might've favored just a touch off to the right, but we do have all 10 pellets out of the shell actually on our paper here. And I did measure them from that very left pellet over there to that top right corner pellet, which was the farthest two points across. And that gave us a 20 inch spread at 40 yards. So so very middle of the road type of pattern here as far as our spread goes and stuff it's not as good as some of the stuff we've seen out of like the flight control shells and I don't think it's quite as good as what we've seen out of these specific triple out buck Remington shells either but 20 inches at 40 yards is still not bad if you were deer hunting or something with it it would work okay for you but we'll take a look at some templates for that here in a minute either way what I am seeing here is a lack of pellets in our core area I think the core might be just a touch right of the white dot and as you can see there's nothing there everything is kind of around the edges a little bit so even with a 20 inch spread I would have liked to have seen one or two of those pellets in that middle area just to even out the pattern a little bit either way so far just by looking at it without templates I think it's pretty middle of the road but let's throw a couple templates up here and just get a better idea and a better reference point as to how it would have done in some different scenarios all right, so first up here, we'll look at a 10 inch circle. And if we line it up with our point of aim, like we were actually taking this shot out in the field or something, we would have two pellets within a 10 inch circle. And still, even within that, nothing directly in the middle where we would kind of want it to be. So as per the numbers, it is a little bit below average as far as a 10 inch circle goes. And out of curiosity, I did scoot that template over to the right a couple of inches before I turned the camera on to put it more in the quote unquote center core area of the pattern. And there was nothing within the 10 inch circle. Okay, there you go. I went ahead and just moved it over so you guys could see. If we actually lined it up with the center of our pattern, there's nothing within that core, which definitely verifies what I was worried about earlier. A little bit disappointing of a core. That that's for sure. But let's throw the deer template up here and just see what would have happened if you would have taken this shot on a deer out in the field. 
Okay, and here's that deer template. And as you can see, being a touch off to the right might have actually helped us a little bit if we would have taken this shot out in the field because we actually do have a couple through the vitals right here. We have like six or seven that would have actually hit the deer, but these two at least right in the top and bottom of the lung, maybe that one down at the bottom might have even clipped the top of the heart. That would have been a dead deer, absolutely. But if we were to slide that template over just a little bit to where the core of our pattern actually is, I still still think you would probably have a dead deer but it might be a little bit closer to not actually getting the deer than what we would like to see as well. So again, kind of middle of the road. It would have done the job, but not quite as good as what we have seen out of these previously and not quite as good as what I was hoping to see. But let's throw one more template up, that being the hog template for those of you down in the south and to the west that actually hunt hogs and see if it would have been the same story for you or not and if you would have come home with the hog. All right, and here's that hog template as well. And yeah, it's pretty much the same story. It's good enough, but you're definitely not hitting them with as many pellets as I think you should be. I think that lack of core definitely played a little bit of a role into what we see here. So I don't know. It's definitely not terrible. It's far from the worst buckshot pattern we've seen, but I think it's just an old setup in that Mossberg 500 with the fixed full choke barrel. It just doesn't perform quite as well as some of the newer shotguns that we've tested it through have done or would do. All right, y'all. Well, what did you think about those results right there? They're definitely not terrible for what it is. Pretty basic Remington load of triple lot buck going through a fixed full choke barrel in an old Mossberg 500. That's not terrible, all things considered. I definitely would like to have a couple more of those pellets actually in the core, which would absolutely help our pattern. But that's just the luck of the draw sometimes, I suppose. But if you had this set up, it would be good enough out to 40 yards or so to get the job done for you, I'd say. I was definitely hoping for a little bit better, especially since we've seen a little bit better from these shells before. But as always, leave your thoughts in the comments. Is that about what you expected to see? Were you hoping for a little bit better or expecting a little bit worse? And would you hunt with a combo or a pattern like that? Let me know all that down below. But with that being said, I've got some more patterning to get done for you guys today. So I'm going to get back to it. As always, we have the channel Instagram as well as the mailbox where you can send stuff if you'd like. All that information will be in the description down below if you're interested in it. But I'm going to get back to it. So I'll see y'all in the next one.